start a new game what we're going to do is we're going to kill the grafted scion on our first go we want to pick the samurai depending on what you want but he starts with the bow and that is the best way to cheese the grafted scion the swords that the scion starts with are the best swords in the game to start out with that you find early on their upgrade material is somber so we can get them to plus 10 early or you can pick the reduvia if you're going for a blood build create a pretty female character that's always mandatory in souls games but i highly recommend choosing the samurai as you're starting because he has the Uji Katana and you can only get them once per playthrough. Once that's finalized we'll need to enter the grafted scion boss room. Head to the end of the boss room there is two trees. Press your body against the left tree and then jump forward and you should mount onto the tree on the right and it will give you a, a lift above there. From there run and jump up to a further spot where the grafted scion can't get you and here you will need to be using the L2 and R1 or L2 and R2 attack to use the ash of war of the bow to kill the scion to get his ornamental straight sword early. The double swords have a buff built within and they are a great starting weapon even throughout the whole game you can use them. So now we can head through the tutorial area to kill the boss and get the strength gesture and after this we'll head out to our first step bonfire. So we've seen the light, we need to go to the gate front ruins, get our torrent and then head to the church of Ella. We can retrieve our summons from Rani. So she gives us the wolf summons which are considered more of the weaker summons in the game. Head to the beach to the right of the first step grace and there is a golden foot there we need that pick that up go to the storm hill shack and speak with roderica we get our jellyfish ashes which applies scarlet rot over time the graveyard next to storm hill shack also has godric soldier ashes we need to level our arcane to 13 if we're going to use the reduvia we need now to head to murkwater cave and defeat the bloody finger invader in order to get our reduvia which is a really quintessential early blood build weapon that you can use against a lot of early bosses but now that is done head inside murkwater cave and Merc patches. This is just to get the best armor in the game. His leather armor set, which is bugged on my end before patch 1.03. You can wear it or you can do whatever you want with it, but he drops a really good item, which is more gold feet to buy and the recipe to build gold feet, which we really need to use for rune farm. We're in Death Touch catacombs now. We'll need to uh, go inside the catacombs and we'll need to get the Uchi Katana, collect the Grave Glove Wart for upgrading our Spirit Ashes to plus one. We can defeat the boss in there for some good runes as well. Our Spirit Jellyfish Summon is doing work with the scarlet rot i really appreciate that man after you've done that go gone through we've got our uchi katana we'll need to travel to kalu collect runes from graves along the way as well and on the way there we'll find our old good friend kenneth he holds a gold seed for us that we can pick up we need to just merc him as well kill him we'll get his gold seed and we'll travel on our merry way to the third church of america pivotal point we can get our sacred tier and our wondrous mix of physic and it gives us a petty heal head to the round table hold and give the bell bearing to the husk and we can get the gold golden feet from patches. Now we can head through the portal in the Third Church of America straight to Caleb. As we travel down, we'll find ourselves a golden seed at the Bestial Sanctum. It's another item you wouldn't want to miss. Head your way to Fort Farrath. We're going to pick up our Radagon Source Seal, and we can pick up our other half of the Dectus Medallion while we're here as well. There is a golden rune on the ledge there. We won't want to miss that just for the extra runes. Head down to where the uh, Radagon Source Seal would be, but the rats will follow you down there. So what you want to do is angle yourself in this corner, then run to the ladder and climb it when the rats are away. Outside Fort Farrath is this giant dragon. With our newly required Reduvia, we're going to bleed him to death, which would be really easy when we have 13 Arcane. And we're going to eat the gold foot. And after that's done, we can go travel through Caleb, pick up what we need, scavenge the graveyard for more runes. And once we have the base minimum stats required for the somber weapon that we're trying to get to at least plus 10 in this playthrough, we can just dump all our points to Vigor until Vigor becomes to at least 50 or 60. There is a dung beetle near Fort Farrath that drops a plus 8 somber somber smithing stone and around the corner from this dung beetle there is a plus nine smithing stone what you want to do is come to where all the dragons are where we killed the dragon and by the tower there will be the plus eight dung beetle and then head around the corner down the, the ledge and it's a plus nine on a corpse where the chairs are now go to the purified ruins in lake leonia and there's a teleporter we'll need to use this teleporter it'll bring us to the raya lucaria gates from there we can travel to another teleporter in a gazebo that'll lead us closer to inji our blacksmith there's a gold seed at the academy gate town pick that up and then head into the teleporter in the gazebo bring us to inji we'll need to get our plus one two three and four somber smithing stones once we're near inji we can pick up our glintstone key that'll give us access to the raya lucaria palace head to the bottom of the lift of the palace to meet the iron maiden and get killed by his grabbing attack this will transport us straight to the volcano manor where we can get our plus six plus five seven somber smithing stones as you can see the plus six is here on the rooftop as you drop down to the lava when you first spawn in and then head up the elevator next to henry the friendly 
little whiplash and snake. And we will indeed be blessed with a plus five somber smithing stone. Hallelujah. If we parkour our way up this lift and we can get our somber smithing zone seven. Press X, hold circle while in midair, and then hold forward and jump, and you will store the run animation while standing idle. This next part might be patched, but just tilt yourself slightly forward till the traverse just pops up, and then you will glitch out the Godskin Noble. Stand there for five seconds, wait one, two, three, four, five, be locked out. There'll be no boss bar, but he will stand there and still be able to be killed the squishy bastard with our Reduvia that we got the blood. Pop the gold feet before actually disterminating the bastard, and then we can go out and actually get our 69,000 runes. Now that we've made our way out of Volcano Mala, either by resting at a side of grace or killing the Godskin Noble boss, we can head to the Church of Plague in Kalid, just south of Fort Farrath. Pick up our sacred tier. Oh so dear. My... We need to go to any merchant to buy 99 arrows. There is conveniently one just south of the Swamp Aonia and southwest of the Church of Plague down the cliff side. While we're here by the merchant we can turn around and head to the Celia Town of Sorcery to pick up the Golden Seed which is actually in the east main stairs on the balcony. Now with our Samurai's bow we can cheese the death bird that spawns at night southwest of the Church of Plague Grace by using the L2 and R1 attacks. Aim for his head. Make sure his head is highlighted we'll need to be up on this cliff squishy stuff and we just aim for his head l2 r1 to his head make sure you don't waste any uh bullets on in any other part of his body and if you just get headshots he'll die we can pop a gold foot just as he's about to die and we can get ourselves some hefty runes you'll want to allocate lots of fp flasks as well for our battle arts when we're trying to kill him with the headshots and the l2 at this point we've got ourselves at a good level with good runes even the death spoke is a good battle art weapon now we can go through through Vare's quest line, we need to invade, so you, you, I would really consider not upgrading all the way to plus nine until you do the three invasions, or you could plus nine and do it, you might be under leveled for the invasions. But once we invade three times, we can head off to Mogwin's palace and get ourselves the ancient somber smithing stone, which will be up where these guys are worshiping, all the way past the dark room, past the grace. You don't have to complete uh, Vare's quest unless you want his attire, or you could just run through and get your plus 10 somber stone. And at this point, we have literally got ourselves a plus 10 weapon within the first hour of the game. Congratulations. Congratulations guys so far. We got our plus 10 Reduvia, a very powerful blood weapon early on. Now get yourself a golden scarab at the abandoned cave in Kaled for our farming method. This will come in very handy when we're farming squishy boys later on to get our mind up to at least 40 or 50. Now there's not really much else to do but to go through the game and collect all our golden seeds. One can be found from the ulcerating tree spirit in the stranded grave. Another one left by Roderica in Roderica's hut. And one just south of the Storm Hill hut if you haven't got that already. Just before Godric's boss room, there is a little minor earth tree there and you can pick up that one. The Weeping Peninsula just out the uh, Morn Castle. The one in Fort Hate with the pumpkin head and the bloody slash just outside the castle there. There's another one, just the ulcerating tree spirit inside Stormvale Castle. Just where we killed the death bird, just where all the birds and the merchant are, just a bit south there there's a golden seed. Inside the Raya Lucaria gates in the courtyard with the crabs and the sorcerers, there's one there. Carrion Manor just before Rani's Rise, there's one where all the wolfies are, the big wolfies. There's a golden seed just in the courtyard there. And where all the big land squirts are just before the ruin strewn precipice. Find one just outside the Lux ruins in the Erdgazing Tree Hill Grace. And if you head towards the highway junction where the cleric would be standing from the round table hold, there's one just around where the map would be located as well in Altus Plateau. Also, you get big money where the two tree sentinels are when you go to the capital outskirts. There's going to be two here. And if you go up the stairs where the gargoyle would spawn, there should be another two next to where that Mogwin dude spawns out of nowhere. Um, another two on that tree as well. That's perfect, that's exactly what we need. Head through the Lux ruins up on the cliff towards the Volcano Manor, and there's one where the volcanic geysers are exploding. Um, also outside the Volcano Manor where the Frenzy Troll is, there's one of the double doors. In the middle of the River of Blood where you do Vare's quest, there's a Golden Seed. And in Sio for a well where the rats and minotaurs are at the very end, you can take the portal to get there and you'll find one at the end. Now our sacred tears. There's three located in the Weeping Peninsula area south. I'm at the uh, church here. There's another one here. Um, I'll show you on the map. And also our third one in the fourth church of America. That's the last one we can get our sacred tear um, collecting inside the Weeping Peninsula area. We're at the church of Irith where we donate the dude 10 runes. 
there's one there if you haven't picked it up already the Bellum Church in the Lake of Leonia just uh, it'd be east side of Lake of Leonia and the Frenzied Flame Village where we can soak our Maiden's Blood uh, we're right now we're at the church just near the face monsters in Altus Plateau uh, Stormcaller Church just where you fight the dragon the big dragon there's one sacred tier up there near the mausoleum so that's pretty much it now we can just spend our character farming these squishy boys and the crow by shooting the crow to alert him make sure he's standing behind one of the squishy boys shoot the crow he runs down kills himself on the cliff and you can use your weapon art either Horfrost, stomp whatever you got a really beefy weapon to just take out these guys with the golden scarab on you can farm the gold feet but that'd be a bit too much asking and here we just get our mind up to at least 60 where our F uh, hp is and we're pretty much smooth sailing for the rest of the game and this is the uh, end of the character build. If you've got yourself up to here, it should be no more than three hours worth of gameplay. Level our FP. That's really helpful. And we're pretty much where we want to be. I really want to thank you guys for watching this video. It's mean a lot to me. Here's just one chapter to a new one. I've got the Reduvia. Seeing what I've got so far. It's spent over seven hours just dilly dallying around doing different stuff but if you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one dude you have a good one love you all